Today on The Time Show, Elon Musk on Trump's top jokes at Al Smith dinner go viral. Trump's most popular tweet in October, as well as Trump's advertisement and Kamala saying she would do no changes, turns her comment into an advertising campaign. Porsche EV sedan and the Taycan sales are down 50%, while Stellantis will close their proving grounds as they try to cut costs. A BLM organizer says that stealing Gucci is reparations, and dozens of waffle brands are being recalled. All of that much more on The Topping Show. Other interesting business news, you have Stellantis to close their 4,000 acre proving grounds as they try to decrease their overall cost, which is really news because apparently they had proving grounds, which is where you actually test the quality assurance of the vehicle, longevity, you can really test out, you know, it's really put it through its stress test. And I, I kind of just guessed Chrysler Stellantis, they, they didn't have that anymore because they're so darn unreliable, even their trucks, well, the engine, if it's good old Cummins diesel, with the exception of the EPA kneecapping it with all the crap they bolt on to make it basically go up itself. Well, yeah, yeah, actually, no. With that, reliability is kind of going the way of the dodo, unfortunately, with most, most Dodge products. But let's go to this specific article by Luke over at the Detroit News, which some have been in business since 1873. And a business in Detroit, in Detroit still exists. I'm pretty shocked and impressed. One of those things where, yeah, my, family, my parents were there and they got out as soon as they could. Now, they say, quote, select us to close 4,000 acre Arizona proving grounds as it trims cost. Here you can see one of those awesome tracks from the good old Google Maps down there. It is ginormous, which, yeah, that's got to be one of those fun bucket list things to do. Imagine driving a car on those things. Right these days, what would they actually, in terms of sports cars, what they do for Chrysler, for Stellantis? Well, Dodge has um, the Charger. Well, no, that's going to be an EV two-door. Um, or, or a straight six uh, turbo with two pedals and no Hemi. But um, I'm sure they have something to test. Chrysler has um. Oh wait, no, Chrysler only has the minivan, the Pacifica now. There's like oh, it has a Chrysler ba badge on it. Jeep is the Wrangler, but um, wait, that's like the most unreliable car in history. I don't, I don't think they do any actual like quality assurance with the Jeep. They just know that it'll sell because of the name, which it does have a cult following. They don't have to do much. But I partially digress. They say, quote. CNBC first reported the closure, noted that a, the maker of Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, and Ram vehicles to start using a different Arizona test area owned by Toyota Motor Corp next year. Slide just continues its 4,000 acre Chelsea Proving Grounds located in West Ann Arbor. The Arizona Proving Grounds purchased in 2007 was, wow, 70 lane miles for car testing? That's actually 69 more than their average vehicle could actually complete before breaking down. Boy, partially kidding. It was included in a list of uh, facilities tabbed for closure in the UAW's 2023 contract with the automaker. Others unlisted parts of distribution centers that the company noted they want to consolidate larger hubs and continue to cut costs as they continue to struggle and exist. Well, I added that last part. They said that Slanta said there are 37 hourly employees that currently work in the proving grounds. The company said it'll be working with the union in order to offer them special packages where they can choose to follow their work and transfer of operations. Which, yeah, Slantis is the weak. They've been the weakest of the big three, the big three being Ford, General Motors, and Chrysler, which Chrysler went bank bankrupt so bad in 2009, partially because of the union contracts. Well, they went so bankrupt so bad, Europe bought them out with Fiat, and then later became Fiat, they bought Renault, then became Stellantis, played about 18 months ago. Which does sound like a fancy cool name, I suppose. But yeah, their sales have been always, always a little lackluster, and the uh, quality, it allegedly existed at one point, which kind of soul or heartbreaking for the, you know, the Chrysler family, and I mean, the Dodge, I mean, the Dodge brothers, the Chrysler, like, Dodge brothers are known for quality. And they, you know, eventually the Dodge brothers sold, well, they passed away, the widows sold it off to Chrysler, and eventually it all sold off into uh, mediocrity. Anyone else miss when they made fun, cool things like the Dodge Viper, which only came with a V10 and a stick shift? Or other iconic vehicles? The Dodge Neon SRT. Like, that was an underrated fun, you know, four, turbocharged four-cylinder to stick shift only. I mean, they used to make fun, awesome cars. And, call me crazy, but I think they used to be more reliable. And it's no surprise that they're closing more proving grounds. I'm only moderately joking when it comes to reliability in terms of using this as that. But, like, it's one of those things where they had a couple too many in the books, but they need to cut costs left and right. This, their profits are down 50% because of the ineptitudes, I would argue, in part because of the CEO, Carlos, who, admittedly, he did say he's going to step down in 2026, which, why wait that long? No idea why. It's a little bit perplexing, but not great news. And again, 
I mean, the silver lining is not too many employees are being displaced. It looks like, again, it's only 37 hourly employees. So hopefully they're able to, to find gainful employment at one of the competitors. But yeah, not continues to be bad news in the headlines for Stellantis. And hopefully they turn things around soon. So again, not too many employees overall lose their jobs and opportunities. But let me know, do you think Stellantis will realistically be able to turn around or Lego bankrupt yet again? Let me know in the comments, because as always, it'd be fascinating to hear what you have to say. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you can click that button, I greatly appreciate it. Also, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment. It's a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.